Pepping up the richness of life. How to pep up the richness of life? Is it by going to KFC or McDonald's or to foreign countries? No, 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 no. The activity in the body, what God has given, and it has got a continuous flow. There you find all the richness hidden. Like there was a traffic jam on the highway. And the, the car's traffic jam was in kilometers. Everybody got down from the car and started asking, why such a big jam? And everybody said, you know that old man? And everybody knows that old man. Even their own fathers, grandfathers knew that old man. He sits on the highway begging. And everybody drops something and goes because the father has talked about him, the grandfather talked about him. And now the traffic jam happened. What happened? The old man is no more. He died. Everybody was in a shock. So they all decided, let's give him a good send off. They decided to dig the same place and create a graveyard for him, bury him there. When they digged, they found a huge amount of gold. They were shocked. That area was richness, full of richness. And everybody said, if the old man is begging, if he had digged it, he could have found gold. People are like that. They keep begging, but they don't know how to dig into them to find the richness of life. Arnold Joseph Toynbee said a life which does not go into action is a failure. Yes, action is success. Action is full of answers. Action is a philosophy by itself. Action is a gospel of truth by itself. Action is truth and nothing more than that. It's washed, never ending. If you look at the abyss, the abyss looks back at you. Yes. It is washed if you look deeper into you. But the only one thing the Western civilization forgot was they thought the eyes are given to look outside, that eyes are given to see what is outside and then close the eyes to see what is inside. The yin and the yang, outside looking inside, only when two happens, they reach richness. Only when two happens, the light, the bulk, the deeper happens. Tamasoma, Jodhir Gamaya, Kattal in the Balak it happens. And everybody forgot all the schools, all the profession colleges, they never taught them. They taught them one way traffic, one way ticket to the moon. That was the failure. That was the poverty of the land. If you have the eyes, when you open, you see an outside. The same amount of time you looked outside, same amount of time you close. And that is what India has taught, we called it, it's called medicine for the one which is looking outside. You when you close your eyes, you start looking inside. Otherwise you close your eyes, you go to sleep, you become unconscious. When you close your eyes, you, you are still in conscious level because the same amount of time you looked outside, same amount of time you are looking inside. Only then you can know your body is illuminated with such beautiful light stars, more powerful than a sunlight. Hence, all, all the people from around the world came running to India and then those ma people became monkeys because they thought the more we meditated sitting hours and hours together, again it becomes one week traffic. What they said, same amount to time, the toughest of their work. Action, a life which doesn't go into action. Action, full of action, it's a failure time we say. <coughs> that powerfully moving action. And when you come back, they teach you, watch. 
When you are sitting in meditation, they teach you how to relax. The stress in your body, feel the stress falling like a dry leaf falling from the branch of it. How does the dry leaf fall from the branch of it? Dang it, 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 like the body, ding it, ding it, even it relaxes. You look so beautiful inside. If you can look so beautiful inside, you found the light. That light is your beloved. That light is your lover. You can look into your wife, into your husband, so beautifully. When you don't know how to see, when it becomes one way traffic, then you have to go to wear your spectacles to your doctor's deceased. This is uh, what Arnold Joseph Toynbee was feeling to say, but even his own wife couldn't understand him. He used to be chased to, into the streets to die in the railway platform. Life which does not go into action is a failure. Action, the body should move. It is full of pain, no pain, no gain. But the explosiveness of your that happiness, that you must understand. Pipping, pipping up the richness of life. Life is full of Happiness, happiness, and you forgot to look into that happiness because you are running far away. You couldn't hear the sound of that one hand clap, that the talking, the whispering of that beautiful trees, whispering of the wind, the flowers. You think there is no sound, but there was only action. And if you are a little conscious, you intend to hug the tree. A life pepping up the rich of the life which does not go into action is a failure. Failure means you feel lonely. Failure means whatever you do, it is a loose motion. It is like a bottomless well. You keep on doing, but keep on putting, and you find it is just leaking out from your body, yes. It is like how they cut the chicken or the goat, just Islamic method of just cutting it up and allowing the blood to ooze out slowly. It bleeds to death. You are bleeding to death if you do not understand. In and a life which doesn't go into action. Action! Looking out and feeling that action, yes. He say, if you do not have that action, if you have that action, immediately you have to return. Yes, you have to return back. Wherever you go, you return back home, right? Wherever you open your eyes, you close your eyes back, not to sleep much before you sleep. You meditate. You look into your body, into your eyes. You embrace. And that richness will stop all diseases. What is diseases? Diseasiness. <laughs> Divide disease to diseasiness. A easiness which is dislocated is called disease. And your easiness has been dislocated because you didn't have the yin and the yang. The moment you come back home, you rush up to lie down. You don't even have a sweet word for your wife or your children or for your grandfather, grandmother, mother and father. You are tired, but for the money you are not tired. A life which does not go into action. That is the action. In and the young. Two-way traffic action is what he asked. See the life which doesn't go into action. And man, if it doesn't go into action, man cannot make a child from another man. Man has to go to action from a female part to have a baby. Yes, that action. When you come back home, same amount of time you spend to work in your house, to build up that house, to have a beautiful rainwater harvest because it is ozone water. Ah, it is just fountain. Ah, you will enjoy. Ah, yes, it's beautiful. And then you walk in the sunlight. When you are in the hot, be the hot. When you are in the cold, be the ho. cold. Is, goes the same. And when you see the sun burning you down, you never feel the heat. Does you know the in and the yang? Arnold Joseph told me, a life which does not go into action is a failure.